Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are playing modded still and this here is our Shadowhawk. We have the Grey Death. And I'm actually looking forward to more hero mechs. They seem to be really good with all the quirks and stuff. But we also want to find a heavy mech. We have some parts already, so let's take a look at our mech bay, shall we? This is what we got. Salvage assembly tells us that we got two, no, four parts of a quick draw for H. We got two parts of a Warhammer already. And that's basically it in terms of heavy mechs. We got a bunch of hunchback parts as well. The 4G, we only need one part. 4 HP, we have one out of five. You can see what we have here. So there are some options. And honestly, the Cicada is quite good-ish in terms of what it's doing right now. But I, I think I want to go heavier so we can get even heavier after that. So that's the plan for today. Let's see if we can find some more mechs. I want to go to Herzberg. And yes, I'm pronouncing it the German way because it's a German name. And uh, there are some interesting missions to play here. And I think after this, we might get what we want. Holy crap. That's a lot of missions. Wow. I think I've never seen a planet stacked like that before. Yeah, we want to probably also go to the junkyard and collect one space suits case. And that's what we're going to be doing first. Why the hell not? Get all the salvage and confirm that. And uh, by the way, uh, I had some people saying that I shouldn't go for salvage at all. I should always take the money. That might be true for vanilla. Because um, you don't really get enough salvage points to get a full mech in vanilla. That's very hard to acquire. So money is the way to go. And then you just buy the things you want in the store. Because, you know, you can get partial mechs in terms of monetary value. But here we can get partial salvage. Which means that looting is fun. And I like looting and leveling. And therefore we are doing it like that. We've been hired to Can't convince me otherwise. Let's go, guys. Uh, oh, a split map. All right. Let's go south them. first. Let's go south. We have an Ultra Auto Cannon 5 here. On the left shoulder. We got some medium lasers. And I really hope that we also got some enemies that are interesting to take. We'll find one of our hidden ah. on this mission. All right. All There's the way down. Of course. Of course they're sending me over the whole map. So, let's take this down real quick. Let's take this down real quick. Ah, in the face! It's not nice of you. Anyway, who's here? Who's defending this crap, huh? Come on. Anybody? No? There's a turret. Turret is gone. Yeah, we are supposed to pick things up here. Good! Ah, the thing. I just realized I wanted to rename all of my pilots and give them like proper identities because right now they are kind of randoms to me. Also night vision, right? Heat vision? Maybe no vision. Maybe we're just gonna stay at that. So what's that sound in the background? There's a pipping sound. Is it because of this thing there? It's gone now. Interesting. Let's make our quarter. Yeah, let's take these VTOLs down real quick. Run! There's one. We also got missiles. And again. This guy is relentless. Uh, but these should be enough. Alright, cool. Great job, everybody. So far, we are... We're good. We're acing this mission. However... I'm here for salvage. Let's get some salvage, huh? Turret is down, beautiful. So that's what I'm saying here. We need some max on the battlefield in order to get some goodies. And yeah, I know, again, the, the point is there to just get the money because money is always valuable. But I like the thrill of the unexpected. And that's what I'm here for. Another turret. One shot of an auto cannon five, and the four medium lasers are enough to kill this thing. Great. Who's shooting me? That was more than the scorpion, I think. Somebody was shooting auto cannons. That guy. Got him. And VTOLs. Yeah, I knew it! I knew that there was something fishy going on in the back. One down. The other one as well. I heard auto cannon fire and I was not sure where it was coming from. Always take a look at the sky. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This is scary as hell. Is this a partisan? No, it is an Augustus. Yeah. 
Those tanks, man. They are quite scary. Let's dive down to cover. We can shoot it directly. Yeah, I'm gonna have a look around. I'm gonna take this real quick. Here we go. And we got the tank. Perfect. Where's he at? Also, who's shooting me in the back with massive damage? SRMs. <gasps> you! <laughs> Holy crap -aroni. Uh, Can we quickly take this? Cannot. Stay in motion. Uh, yeah, there are lots of assigned targets and they are scary. Gonna do it with the missiles and the lasers, I believe. Alright, we got it. What a nice fighting scenario. Ah, what a beautiful day. Put this turret down as well. Okay, another VTOL is still alive. Oh god. Fire. And we burn them down. Ooh. So, more resistance than I am... Um, I, I was actually expecting. In form of VTOLs. I want more mechs, though. Target acquired. Follow me. We don't need to take this. Actually, we can possibly get the vedette with missiles. Maybe not. I don't care. Let's go. If he decides to come and then try to backstab us, that's fine. Scorpions need to die every time. <laughs> Just because they're scorpions. Alright, let's go up in the high ground. And I know the vedette is basically a scorpion with slightly less damage. Slightly. But a scorpion is a scorpion. That's a principle for me. There we go. So, keep going, keep pushing. We have 1900 meters to cross. Guys, let's not waste any time. I don't want to play walking simulator. I want to play the fighting aspect of the game. And I know getting from point A to B is part of the game, but... When having maps like this, it's kind of nasty because you, you have to completely split up. Hey, first south, then to the north. A big canyon in between. Ugh. There's not much to do here, except for waiting for the next patrol that will arrive in form of death from above. Like, VTOLs and stuff. Anyway. We're good. We're fine. We took very little damage. And I believe as soon as we have destroyed the whole base, all of our raid objectives, or we picked everything up, then uh, there will be a big dropship coming down. And that's gonna be where we get our salvage. Hopefully. We'll see. 1200 meters. There's a nice conga line of mechs. Maybe I should wait a little bit, but I think the next engagement will come around the corner quite quickly. And this is where we're gonna stop briefly. Got him. And we're stuck. <laughs> see? That's the next engagement. Alrighty. So, two big complexes. What will we find here? Probably more tanks. I think regular vision is still the best. Nice job, everybody. Nice job, me. I like this immersion a lot. I know people, people were saying that they cannot see anything here. And so do I. <laughs> but it, it really helps. Being immersive. Feeling like I'm in the mech cockpit and it's it's a battlefield out there and we are having this night operation. Uh, another scop. Oh, a mech. And it's a heavy. Okay, cool. So, give me my prize. I want it now. But beforehand, I think we're gonna clear out the field. Come on. Nice. What do we see? It's another quick draw, is it? It's a dragon! Ah, we don't have dragon parts yet. So we start a new build on a new mech that we possibly don't even want. Stay with me, guys. To me. Alright. So we got that down. Also the light effects. The light effects with the lasers. I love it. 
Guys, follow me over here. Okay, got it. Come on. We want to lure him out. We don't want to engage one by one. All right. Get that guy. Follow me. So, we're going to disengage from the dragon. He will come around the corner soon enough. And we are hunting some tanks in the meantime. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. All right. We also see our objective already. So let's take that, then deal with the dragon later. Keep our heads on a swivel, though. Else he might be here in this base already. Huh. Weird. Alright. We'll take it. There we go. So, now it's time to hunt the tank and the dragon. It's also pretty cool that we stock up on ammo every time we do that. That's that's really nice. Where is the dragon? Come on, show you. What's that? This is uh this is my zone to go to. Find what I need to find. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh, we have to get in there and actively search all the details behind me. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take the dragon out first, huh? Maybe I shouldn't. It's an easy kill, so we take that. And then there's a tank. Okay, on the dragon! With combined effort. And we're gonna get into medium range, so our medium lasers will also hit at maximum damage. And, uh... God, he's fast, man. And we also want to shoot our missiles, so getting too close is not an option. And hey, we did it. Still a tank on the left side. Unless he is destroyed already. Uh, let's see. So we gotta get in here. We have to stay in here to trigger the surge. And when that is done, I think we will, we will find the acquisition, right? Maybe not. Maybe we know exactly where we have to go. One dragon. Hmm. Give me more. Good news is that we actually got our Cantina objective done. That's nice. Dropship? Dropship? Anybody? It seems like we are alone. It seems like we have company. It's a Hanshi. Ooh, it's a 4H. I think one of my absolute favorites in terms of Hunchbacks. Next to the 4SP. Get that auto cannon off and the lasers that you have there. Big beetle, take it down. Got him. So yeah, we get some mech parts, and honestly, I would build that hunchback. All right. That's it. Beetle and hunchy. Nothing else. Well, I guess we're gonna go home then. Nice. So, the cool thing about this mission here is we took very little damage. That was great. Let's get, you out of there, Commander. get us out of here. Stand by. Take the tank with us. Alright, it's gone. Perfect. I am happy. And we got some dragon parts, we got some hunchback parts. Um, I'm not sure if we can build the hunchback, though. We'll see. This is also great because it gives us more salvage now. Like, we can now negotiate for more. Since we are now respected. Yeah, man. Three parts. We have none of the H variant. I guess I'll take the dragon over the Hunchy. I could take AC5 tier 2. Hmm. I think I don't want to. No, we don't need them. We don't need them right now. I'm gonna take some dragon parts, three of them, and hope that we can find more. So, a thousand damage done. Not bad. Cicada is still... Huh? Outgunned by Captain Romo this time with the Phoenix Hawk. Machine gun tier 1. This is all about the reputation. Big ammo feed. Faster ammunition. Nice. 5% ballistic cooldown time reduction. Mm, that's alright. Okay. So, what now? Uh, conspirators? Sure, we accept. This is always a good mission, I think. We get a lot of very high tier weapons as well as some double heat sinks. Like one double heat sink. But a large laser tier 4, an auto cannon 20 burst fire tier 4, and an LRM 20 Artemis tier 4. Artemis is a bit 
wacky, I would say. You invest a lot of tonnage. I don't know if it's needed. I think it could be, but... And then we have the blood minerals. For another auto cannon or a gauss rifle. Ooh. I will accept both. And yes, we should play these priority missions more often. We can get some real goodies out of there. However, we are on a planet where we have more missions available and we will totally play them. Because I want to use my time efficiently. Not moving around too much, but instead having some fun here. So, we'll start with assassination. Actually, no, let's we'll start with garrison duty. And, of course, get all the salvage because that's what I'm here for. It'll compromise your visibility. Because I want to grind more reputation with Steiner and then we go for the assassination, hoping that there's a good assassination target and when we have more rep with Steiner, we have more salvage options, which means we can get more parts of the good boy. The bad boy. Which will then be a good boy because we are the good guys and... Are we the good guys? Always questionable when you are a mercenary company, huh? Here we go. Our employer feels oh, interesting map. I like that. It's also daytime. It's also a bright map. It's also cold. It I love it. Let's get a move on it. Ooh, but it's one of those bases that collapse quite quickly. Uh. Looks like we found a place, Commander. What's that? Wait, they have deployed Adi? On the base? On us? That's nasty. Let's take it down quickly. Uh-huh. Oh no. Oh no. We gotta take these down quickly. They are... taking us away from the front line. Okay. Here we go! I send my people over to the other things. To the tanks that are coming. Let's move out of this. Oh, this one. Oh, wait, all of them. Right? Yeah. Those. We get it? I don't know. There's more. It might be that I have destroyed some props instead of the real guns. Okay, this emplacement is down. So yeah, my people are going after these, these tanks and uh, I'm gonna go back now. And yeah, don't worry guys. These guys have... The enemies, these guys, uh, have taken 27% uh, of the base already. But again, this base collapses quickly. And there are some parts which take way longer. So they will make very fast progress. But then it will slow down quickly. Got it. Uh-huh. Phoenix Hawk. Beetles. It's this structure here. It's a big one. Okay, I'm gonna give you some fire support to the Javelin. I want you to take it, and I'm gonna go for the Beetles right after that. It's really hard to lead the shots when he's flying. We hit him a bunch of times, though. So this is fine. I'm going for the VTOLs now. One down. Ah, stop moving around that much. It's hovering up and down, which is so smart. All right, now we need to get the Phoenix Hawk down. Those, of course, for the missiles. Huh? We got a Phoenix Hawk too, man. Bam, bam, bam. Missiles. Here we go. Nice. Weapons down. And all of the weapons down. Perfect. Uh, he's gonna punch out now. We don't need to care about him that much. What is this? Oh, God. What is this? Get down. Alright. One down. Got that. Oh god, this is this is escalating quite quickly. Hey, bring a rifleman! Oh, I want that. I really want that. Cool, got him. Guys, get that centurion down. I'm gonna take care of the lights and the tanks that are coming from here. 
Really hope they can take the scent alone. They seem to be confused, my friends. Rasa is down. Perfect. So what about the Centurion? Can you take it? Come on, guys. Go for it. Really don't want to go behind the base myself. Because it takes a long time to get back into action later. Let's see. Still not. Okay, now on the sand. Oh yes, baby. Get caught, buddy. Got it. Perfect. So, next is a commando that's coming in. Man, look at the horizon. But they are just not attacking that much. Why? I would totally do that. I would totally press the attack. Drillson. Oh, nice. It's a strong tank. Alright, here we go. Another one. Try to hit him with the auto cannons as well. Not sure what I'm hitting. But I guess it's the tank. Okay, next up is the commando. Commander target received. And he's coming around the corner and he's gonna regret that. Oh my god. Uh-huh. <laughs> all right then four more enemies and we have all of them on the scopes Denar is coming yeah I'm not really dealing damage with the auto cannon at that range I think I just shoot the missiles saying that and shooting instantly right uh, I'm the worst come on unjam And the general is down. So yeah, they have more artillery down there. They are not shooting it. Which is good for us. Hey, come to me. Hello. Coming, boys. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Rifleman has auto cannons. They can shoot at range. Careful, careful, careful. I mean, this is the benefit of the Shadowhawk. We have extreme high mounts. We can just stay here. And stay in cover. Go back and forth, wait for our cooldowns to be ready. And then shoot above it. Just like that. Beautiful. Okay, is this a trebuchet? Trebuchet? Yeah, it is. Alright, coordinated attack. Let's push, push, push. Let's go. Come on! He's not gonna withstand the ultimate firepower that our mechs bring. Yes, next is the Vindicator. Oh. Oh, now they are bringing the artillery, huh? They were out of range, seemingly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanna core him, I don't wanna destroy him. Ah, uh, whatever. No, not the other side also. Ah, got him. Uh, let's get out of here. That was good. That was fun. Alrighty. Man, Rifleman. I would give a lot for a Rifleman. But I don't think we can take all the parts. We can take some. And that's as good as... Nothing, basically. <laughs> yeah, we can sell those parts. And that's also a thing, by the way. Uh, these parts have value. We can get rid of them in the store if we wanted to. And I will totally take all the Rifleman parts. 100%. Also, this engine is worth a crap ton of money for 6 salvage only. Hell yeah. Let's take it. Don't want another Centurion, I think. I think I'd rather take a large laser. Seems good. Alrighty then. Lots of level ups. Love to see it. So, what is next? We wanted to play a targeted kill, assassination type of mission, right? So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Uh, it's this one here. 27 only. I don't know if we're gonna find some heavies here, but let's see. Ready up, everybody. We're going in once more. One part of a 4H quick draw. 
That is all we need. And then we have a heavy. And I would probably make it a support mech with missiles, like LRMs even. Four medium lasers. A total of 20 LRMs maybe. Maybe 30 if we tune down the engine. I don't know. Gotta keep in mind we don't really have access to XL engines yet. Map again. Yeah, I'm gonna go north first, uh, then I'm gonna cross the canyon, uh, dipping into the south and then pushing north again. Yeah. So north, west, south, north. That's the plan. And with a bit of luck, we actually find everybody at one location. So, are you here, everybody? Or are you not? We're ready to fight you. I know there's, there's a turret behind me. But I, I don't care about it. Ooh, I care about that. We'll take it. Okay. And now we gotta defend ourselves against the tanks that are coming in. Ah, uh, partisan. Crazy thing. But an AC2 level 1. Not the partisan. Party's over. Let's keep going. Where's the Scorp? Somewhere in cover. And I think this is an urban mech on the right side. I hear more auto cannons and bigger ones. Yep, it's a 20. Try to take him down quickly. At range, ideally. This 20 is devastating. Uh huh, and we got it. We don't? No, nah, now we have it. Okay, cool. So now on the tanks once more. Huh? Yeah, that's bad intel. As always. I have no idea what I'm shooting, but I'm shooting. So, ah, another partisan. Alright, should have taken care of that a bit quicker. But I guess. That's it. For this base. Ah, one more. Gonna level this. Okay. Now, as I was saying, we will go through the canyon here, we attack the second base, and then we go north again. Let's see what we can find. This is way more contrast, so it's better to see that we are shooting at something, but not exactly what we are shooting at. It's so weird to um, see the project or see the explosion, but not the projectile. It's really hard for me because I, I constantly try to trace where my projectiles are going and adjusting aim, and if I don't see the projectile, it's kind of bad. I don't like this. It's okay to do it with like lasers and lock-on weapons, but when you really have to trace your target with a projectile, it's kind of hard. With you. Yeah, let's go. Okay, and 900 meters. And I'm the vanguard. Mm, I need to wait for my friends. But hey. Gotta wait here. Don't want to trigger the base and the patrol at the same time. It doesn't make sense. Also, it gives us time. It gives us a bit of time to wait for the friends. Huh? Where? Ah, on the side. Ooh, we would be flanked if we push forward now. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's push out. We have everybody here. I think we can defend ourselves now. There's a tank. Positive, visual on the target, Commander. Positive visuals, even. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Get him down. But one. I think we need to take it slow. That's a quick draw. It's a 5A. Uh, yeah, we got to get out of this choke point. Urban mech as well. Guys, follow me. Where are you going? No! The other way around! Oh god. Oh god, my team are idiots. Oh. Um. Hover? Hello? Where are you? Yeah, I I'm alone? Can I not be alone, please? I would really appreciate that. 
All right, turning around. There are tanks on the high ground. These seem to be carriers, SRMs. Mm -hmm. Another one. Got him. All right. In the meantime, this guy is getting hot. Look at his heat signature. He's generating quite a lot of heat. Kind of cool. Cool, looking hot. Yellow, red. Now, you see that? This is a very nice touch to the heat vision. That you can actually see how hot he's getting. Should be taken down now, perfect. We got one, Commander. Good job. We got one? Uh-huh. Where are my friends? What in the pathing is going on here? Okay, Irby is down. We have a tank behind us, though. <laughs> okay. Are we fine? I am not sure if we are fine. They took the long route. They took the scenic route. Okay, at the very least, they destroyed some things. <laughs> Why in all the hells would you go this path when you're right behind me and I need your cover? I am disappointed by you. I'm not mad. I am just disappointed with you. Also, random shot into the landscape. All right, somebody found the trigger. Yeah, let's get out of these canyons. I don't think that AI is really doing well down there. Moving out. Target acquired. By the way, do rucks exist in this mod? I have not spoiled myself going into, um, what's it called, uh, instant action, where I can test basically everything and build basically everything. But I wanna, I wanna know, are rucks a thing in here? I really hope so. As one of my favorite weapons in MechWarrior Online are rucks. So we have almost everybody here. Let's go. Four medium max to rule them all. There we go. Alright, and we have the primary target identified. Let's get high ground. Because our Shadowhawk, as we already stated, is uh, very good with cover. Okay. Here we are. We have also a very good shot from above. Rats are easy to kill. Heavy mech right? No, medium mech right next to me. I want to stay on this guy, though. My friends can take them. And down. Okay. So what are we facing? Half a Shadowhawk. Okay. I think the Hawk is down. And that is another Vindicator. Not really what we are supposed to take. Not a thing I really enjoy taking. Take him down. So, work done. We can, we can go home. But there's something coming up, and I want to take that. Sure. Okay, bounty is ours. But what is coming? By the way, why is this dropship not firing at us? Focus. Yeah. I mean, Rihanna has weapons. Our enemies don't. And I guess. I mean, it's balancing reasons. I know, I know, I know. It would be really bad if there's a dropship coming and they are just destroying you completely. When you're at the end of a mission and you barely hang on and the dropship is coming down and just wrecking everything. Yeah, you got this. Okay, I'm gonna leave the Locust to my friends. I'm gonna evac. I think time-wise, we're gonna get more out of this now. You go. I'll go. And down he goes. So, Rihanna's here. Let's go. It's looking good. It's looking good. But we didn't really get the heavy mech parts that we were coming for. Wrong quick draw. Wrong quick draw. But it is a quick draw nonetheless, and I would probably take that thing as well. Those are okay mechs. Auto Cannon 2, Tier 1, uh, millions of sea bills and 
sure. Three parts of that guy. Shadowhawk 2D. Interesting, because it has a lot of hard points. One ballistic, three energy, three missiles. I'll take the hawk. No, I don't take the hawk. Never mind. <laughs> it doesn't fit anymore. Take another AC. I take another AMS. Do we have AMS ammo? As AMS ammo. I think I'll take this. Over the AMS or over the AC? I'll do it like this. Alright, cool. So. Ooh, the Phoenix Hawk dealt some damage. It was brawling time today. Nice. Alrighty then. What is next? I think we're gonna play another mission here. I mean, there's another raid, tier 30. I wanna play this. It's a big map though. Hmm, 20 square kilometers. Defense mission, the better. Do we play all of them? I really wanna go for some like high tier missions. Like 30. 30 is okay, 30 and above, but 17? No, not really. I'm not interested. So we play this and I'm gonna take money. Was considering the airstrike for a second, but let's not do that. Alrighty. Let's see what we can do. And what we can get. And it seems like we are not getting any progress done yet. Because we are not getting any more mechs. But we are making progress in the form of more parts of mechs. There will be a point when the scales are tipping completely. Because we have like three parts here, four parts there, maybe two parts there. And we can just finish a mech after a mech after a mech. Because our storage is getting wider and uh, also We've kind of taller. With destroying a local communications network on behalf of our client. Make your way to the Martin up point Happened here. and take out any target identified at the location. We'll come back for extraction once all targets have been neutralized. <laughs> I'm the best pilot in the world! Um, help! Somebody! I was looking at the map! Alright. Restart mission. <laughs> Luckily nothing happened. Now I was confused because there was a big square on the minimap and I was like, what is that? And I was not looking where I was going. Hmm. Well then, let's try this again. Once more with feeling, shall we? <sighs> so. Here we go. I think I should turn around. Because there is a base behind us, if I saw that correctly. We've been tasked with destroying a local communications network on behalf of our client. Make your way to the Martin up points and take out any targets identified. Is there? Nah, uh, maybe not. We'll come back for extraction once all targets have been. All right, I need to Rihanna to stop talking for a second. Like, what is in that mystery zone? Like, what's in there? We have one base there, one base there, only two. Huh. So both are equally. Distance. Okay. Let's move out and see what we can do. Ah, this is the path. This is the way. By, by the way, I love this biome. These tall trees, those big clusters. There's a lot of line of sight uh, disruption. It's really cool. And it looks great. Like all the foliage, all the little details on the, on the ground. And then the lighting? Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. By the way, this, this here comes from the mod Fon Biomes, if you want to check this out. It is also very resource hungry, because you can imagine, all of this needs to be rendered. But anyway, if you have a good machine, I can uh, take those. And I think even, even if you can, even if you tune down the details, it looks still pretty good. So, here we are, 600 meters. It's a pop-up turret. Now it's getting boggy. And tanky. Huh? Come on. I couldn't shoot, my weapon was jammed. We see a light mech, it's an Irby. It's right in front of us. Cannot hit him because of trees. I mean, in this tree scenario, we should really go for predator vision. I mean, come on, let's go. It needs to be done. It also really helps, honestly. I see you. 
All of a sudden, there's a triple laser pointer at my face. So one auto cannon down. Let's take the RB completely. Great. So yeah, Cicada is in a very weird spot now. Oh no. And missile weapons have no impact here at all. That guy. That guy. That guy. All right. Mm. So that's the first target down. Kind of afraid that we won't get anything good out of here in terms of salvage. Let's see. Go for regular vision once more. So we need to find a way towards the other side of the battlefield. Up through here. Shadowhawk! Hell yeah! Where are you coming from all of a sudden? And he has a claw as well. Tall. Take him down. Missiles did the job. Nice. Okay. The Shadowhawk. A 1P. Another variant. Yet again. I don't think that we have any parts of this guy yet. You can just fell these trees? What? That's possible? Today is not your day. Wait a second. This is Enemy mech destroyed. <gasps> what? What? It takes a bit, but you can destroy them. All right, I'm a lumberjack. Give me my hatchet, man. Even better, an axe, man. Wow. Is it possible with any of these? So I could have maneuvered myself out of there earlier. I am impressed. That is cool. That is so damn, so damn cool. Yeah, too close. Keep going. It's amazing. I'm a happy Baradul right now. And then there's the sun shining on that little clearing here. God, man, this biome. It's the best. I would say, actually, I would say it's the best that I've seen. Oh, but I... With the new revelation here. It might be. Wait a second. I'm gonna make a breach. As I can. Amazing. The more you know. All objectives destroyed. We are inbound on Mark Evac point. Yeah, there is an evac point somewhere, but I'm still expecting more resistance. We wanna try to destroy everything here. I mean we're not trying, we are just doing it. Let's be real. Because we are here for salvage. Tank, and now it's time to destroy an urban mech. Something's behind us with PPCs. Probably an Igor. Should take it. Yeah. LRM 15 stream. But one. Holy hell. Could you, could you not? Is that an option? Is he at? So good. He's behind cover now. <laughs> behind the tree lines. So good. I love that that exists. I'm not a fan that I'm getting shot to pieces, but just the fact that we can do that. Okay. I still hear the helicopter sounds. He's somewhere. Or is it a dropship? Nah, there he is. It's not him. That's him. There we go. Almost. Come on, missiles! I think we got we got him, right? We didn't get him. What? What's going on? Everything is escalating. AC-20 burst fire times two. Demolisher. No, wait. Was it? Was that a demolisher? Wow. Oh my god. It was a great mission, to be honest. I love it. Uh, I don't think we need to destroy anything anymore. 
Let's go home. Let's go home. Uh, we get part of a Shadowhawk, maybe, and probably some weapons. But more importantly, we get the mission done, which gives us more money to sustain ourselves so we can travel more. And then go to the next higher zone. That's what we do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ah, so good. So, we can take a part or two parts of a Shadowhawk 1 key. Why the hell not? I'll also take the Auto Cannon 20. It's worth a bit. It's also a good pick to value ratio. I usually. Ah, double music bug. I usually try to go for uh, like one pick for 100,000, and this is better. Ooh, let's be quick about this. This is really nasty. Double music is a thing. Take the Irby parts, be done with it. Okay. Guys, this is the end of the video anyway. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we're going to continue next time in higher tier territory. Goodbye.